What's good everybody, it's Rob back with another video. I'm here to give you my first 48 hours with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now, there's not too many negative things I can say about this phone. This phone, maybe I'm still in a honeymoon period, uh, other than the fact that I'm very impressed with this phone. Uh, to me, this is where the competition starts to pick up. Uh, with the first flagship, the S10 line, whether you have an S10, the E, or the Plus, this is the first real competition for that phone. And uh, right now, uh, we're at the midway point of the year with a, quite a few more phones ready to kind of dip their toes in the best phone of the year. But right now, uh, I'm very impressed with this OnePlus 7 Pro. First off, uh, the display. The display is awesome on this phone. And th I'm thoroughly enjoying just the actual screen itself. One thing that I do like about the display, I don't get the palm uh, ghost touching that I will get with Samsung phones. Somehow OnePlus don't present that problem to me. I don't know if anybody else out there have that problem. If so, uh, leave your comments down below. I'd like to know about your experiences. But the cool thing about the display itself is as far as just the refresh rate, well, you can set it at a maximum smoothness of 90 hertz. And uh, when you're flicking through just web pages and uh, YouTube and just different things of that nature, the smoothness of the display is a much welcome uh, added feature. The resolution, again, you can have it uh, selected auto switch, which will switch to the appropriate resolution depending on what you're looking at. Uh, you can put it on the maximum resolution and clarity, but that will eat away at the battery and it can change the res resolution of some of the words. You know, some of the wording could get a little smaller, so you would have to go in and kind of adjust how things are looking. So, the, you know, the print of the actual screen could be affected. So, you may want to go in and maybe change the size of what you're looking at. The video enhancer when it comes to playing videos is it makes some videos look way more, the color look way more saturated, very Samsung-like with that on. The ambient display, again, another cool feature. The light theming, it gives you just enough theming where it doesn't go overboard like some of Samsung themes. Some of the Samsung themes, it almost like they need to take a little bit of a step back Whereas when it comes to theming this phone, you get just, just about the right amount of personal touch without making the phone look somewhat gaudy. The battery life on this phone, uh, I have not plugged this phone up. I'm down to uh, 27%. This phone is, hasn't been charged for at least 21 hours. I'm pretty much up to four hours screen on time with about 27% left of my battery. So with that in mind, I'm looking, if I had to guess, make a guesstimate, uh, well over five hours, five and a half hours of screen on time for my personal usage only. Now, again, I've been doing just light things like maybe looking at YouTube, getting to know the phone, jumping in and out of features, making a few phone calls, the uh, call quality is great. I know a lot of people don't talk about call quality anymore when it comes to cell phones, but it's, it's very clear. And uh, I like the crispiness of uh, the call. It doesn't sound hollow or any way. Uh, I'm using T-Mobile, so within my area, uh, I don't have any problems with T-Mobile. My signal strength is always strong. Uh, the dual speakers, much a much, much needed upgrade. Um, I really don't care that one of the speakers is on the bottom and one is in the earpiece. The fact that they still gave me the stereo speakers is a, uh, a plus in comparison to previous models. So again, so far I'm loving that portion of the phone. Now some of the bad about this phone, um, it's very slippery. Even um, if, you, if you have it on uh, any type of incline and if it's like a fabric involved, this phone will fall off. It, I mean, this is this phone is more slipperier than, than Samsung's phones. Usually, um, Samsung and iPhones make 
uh, phones that are, you know, the smoothness of that glass, just you, sometimes you could put it on a table and if there's any type of incline, you can literally see that phone sliding across. Well, this phone beats them all. Uh, when I got the phone, uh, when it came to storage, let me uh, go in real quick. Oh. All right, when it came to storage, uh, the system, before I put in any of my apps, I have about 14 gigabytes of my apps in there. Uh, there were 15 gigs as far as what was on the phone when I first booted it up. So if you take that 15 gigs and subtract it from that 256. So we were looking at 241 gigabytes of uh, storage space net after you talk, after you take into account of the system apps of 15 gigs. And you know, not that that's anything to really worry about because anything over 200 gigabytes of storage is almost overdoing it. So really with this phone, you can excuse the fact that you don't need an external SD card. The cameras so far, I haven't really given it a test, but they've done a pretty good job. I did do a stream last night on Team 100 on Mr. Alan Anthony's streaming channel where I use exclusively the OnePlus 7 Pro's front camera and the quality of the video. Uh, I didn't hear anybody complain about it. Everybody in the stream thought the quality was pretty good. Um, the, the front facing camera did a pretty decent job. I haven't really uh, taken it out and, and really taken a lot of pictures and samples but uh, I probably will have that taken care of uh, in the next couple of days over this holiday weekend. But for the most part, I'm loving this phone. It's, it's, um, it's up there right now in, the, in my personal conversation of best phone of the year. We have to see how things shake out. Uh, some of the talk about the Note 10 haven't really been all that impressive. It's almost making me feel like uh, they they may add just a few features to spice up the Note 10 and possibly um, just give it a, a few little tweaks to some of these better features. And uh, also the Pixel 4 is being leaked to death so I kind of have an idea of what to expect from the Pixel. But uh, for the most part um, it may be a more refined, refined version of the Pixel 3 from last year. That's all, uh, you know, that's all speculation until the phone actually comes out. So again, uh, my first couple of days with this phone, I'm re very impressed with this new pro edition of the OnePlus 7. Uh, so far, I give it a thumbs up. I would, I would highly recommend this phone, whether you get it through T-Mobile or Unlock. It's probably better to get it unlocked because you do get more timely updates. And that might be the way to go if you're into those updates. And I'm quite sure maybe the unlocked version will be getting um, the next version of Android a lot faster than the carrier version. That pretty much does it with my first uh, 48 hours with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Uh, leave all your comments down there also. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time to my channel. Uh, I appreciate your support and for those who have stuck to stuck with me so far, I really do appreciate you guys out there for riding with my channel and, uh, and supporting my video. So I really appreciate it. But um, other than that, I'll catch everybody in the next video. I'll holler at you guys later. I'm out.